Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Marmot Tungsten One Person Hiking and Backpacking Tent. I was supposed to be bringing you this video from the Appalachian Trail from my last section hike there, but the weather decided not to cooperate with us. It got pretty brutal, pretty cold, and uh, we decided let's just take our section hike and save the videos for when we get back home. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to set up this tent. It's a great little tent. Uh, I wouldn't have any other tent um, just from the experience with this one. It's super easy to set up, super light, relatively inexpensive, especially for lightweight hiking gear. And uh, yeah, let's let's get to, let's get to it. Please click like and subscribe to join my hiking family. So it all starts with the footprint in the tent. It's just a lightweight tarp with some grommets on some uh, webbing uh, for running your tent stakes through. And there's a couple of red tabs on uh, one side for color coding and I'm going to show you why those are important next. The purpose of this is just to help keep things from puncturing through to the bottom of the tent and help keep some uh, extra moisture out in the event of rain or snow or any of that. Next, you put the body of the tent on top of the footprint. The red tabs denote the front of the tent. Been quite a few nights where I've hiked a little too long, it's getting a little too dark. Pulling out the tent makes it real easy to set up. Uh, never have to question where the front is, never have to worry about turning it around. Red goes to red. Next, we unfold the tent poles and install them. Marmot got really clever with these as well, continuing with their color coding, um, making it ridiculously easy to set this thing up. That's, that's one of the things I love most about this tent. It takes all the guesswork out. Um, there's nothing to it. The black strap right here is where the black end goes. This orange side goes into the orange strap. And I'll show you some closer up pictures of that later. You just put the tent pole through the grommets on the footprint and on the tent itself. It's real easy. Uh, I don't even often use my tent stakes. If it's really hot, I'll uh, stake out my rain fly because this tent allows for a lot of ventilation when it's cold we don't uh, the rain fly keeps the heat the rain fly keeps the heat in pretty well when you don't have the ventilation open so there's a lot of flexibility with this now once you have the poles in place there's just some clips on the tent that go up quick and easy I love this tent uh, if I knew there wasn't going to be any rain uh, it's quite uh, quite regular for me to just go ahead and not put the rain fly on because nothing better than sleeping under the stars so here you see it Mostly mesh with a rain panel down here. I've never gotten wet inside this tent. So next and last is the rain fly. Now one thing to note about the rain fly, again, you don't have to stake it down. Uh, if, if, it's a, if it's a hot night, again, you're gonna want, you're gonna want the, the mesh to be able to breathe. Uh, if it's cold, it, it stays down and you don't have to worry about it. But one thing to note about it is that Mine and everyone, other, everyone else I know of has come with one guy line missing for whatever reason. So I just simply took an extra long piece of paracord, because you never can have too much paracord, right? And I just attached it to that. No big deal. It is not a minus to this tent in any way, shape, or form. So all you do is you put the zippered part to the front, because it'll create your little vestibule that you can store your gear outside. Uh, I prefer to have mine inside because I use my backpack as a pillow. Um, but uh, 
that's it. You just put the front zipper to the front, and you go. Keeping with the really cool features of this tent, they have included clips that clip into the webbing. So again, you don't have to use stakes. There have been a couple of times I've had my tent set up, I crawled in at night and felt a rock. Super easy, just pick the tent up, slide it to another space. It's that easy. Well, the vestibule opens on one side, leaving one side covered, so if you have your gear still under here, it is sheltered from some of the rain. But it zippers open, and again, you can open the one side up to just continually allow breeze in if it's a nice night. Another feature I really love about this tent is that on hot nights, sometimes just the breathability of the rain fly isn't enough. So to give you a little bit more circulation, Marmot has included this stiff rod sewn onto the rain flag, onto the vestibule flap, and a Velcro enclosure right there to prop up this little flap with a triangular hole at the back. And all that does is just allow some more air circulation to bring in fresher, cooler air. Inside the tent by the door is a handy gear pouch, and in the top of the tent is a gear hook, keeping the things that you need to access most frequently close at hand. Another great feature of this tent is this pouch. It's designed to hold your headlamp and diffuse its light, allowing you to read inside your tent without the glare of the headlamp. And there you have it, the Marmot Tungsten one person hiking and backpacking tent. I love this tent. It's full of features, it's lightweight, it's cost effective, it's easy to assemble. I, I can't think of one complaint about this tent. In my opinion, it's the best tent on the market. If you think otherwise, shoot me an email or leave me a comment below. Till next time, I'm Ace. Thanks for joining me on the trail. Be sure to visit trailnameace.com to find links to products I've reviewed. Thanks for watching and keep hiking.